On an August day in 2024, a Yellowstone National Park ranger driving south between Mammoth Hot Springs and Norris Geyser Basin noticed a plume of steam. Was it really steam, the ranger wondered? Or was it wildfire smoke? The column turned out to be steam, and not just any steam. It was coming from a new thermal vent. According to a recent blog post by the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory announcing the discovery. The ranger notified park geologists, who trekked out through a boggy marsh to reach the stand of lodgepole pine trees where the steam originated. Yellowstone National Park spokesperson Linda Vares declined SFGATE's request to interview the geologists who verified the discovery. You wouldn't know it from the road, but the stand of trees is hiding a rhyolite lava flow, a thick type of lava that tends to form short, chunky flows throughout the Yellowstone caldera. The new thermal feature stems from the base of the lava flow. Yellowstone sits on one of the planet's largest magma reservoirs and contains more than 10,000 hydrothermal features, including geysers and hot springs. Geologists have mapped more than 100 major hydrothermal areas within the park. The new hydrothermal feature is yet another piece of evidence indicating the unique National Park's ever-changing landscape. This is really just Yellowstone being Yellowstone, said Michael Poland, a geophysicist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, a consortium of nine state and federal agencies monitoring volcanic, hydrothermal and earthquake activity in the Yellowstone Plateau and Intermountain West regions. This is exactly how this area has always behaved. It's incredibly dynamic. New features form all the time in Yellowstone, though it is rare for a completely new thermal area to pop up. Researchers occasionally catch new areas forming through satellite imagery and aerial photography, which can show forests giving way to boiling ground and gas vents. We only recently have has the technology to track that kind of thing, Poland said. The new thermal feature is located in what's referred to as the Roadside Springs Thermal Area. As the name suggests, lots of hot springs dot the landscape near the Norris Mammoth Drive. When examined by the geologists in 2024, the vent was hot, above 170 degrees Fahrenheit, and the area around it was thinly covered with gray clay. The clay's thin depth hints at the feature young age. According to the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, it's probable that this new hydrothermal feature is connected to activity that began nearby in March 2003. Geologists discovered hydrothermal features on the other side of the lava flow, close to Nymph Lake, more than 20 years ago. It's too soon to tell how the new vent may influence the landscape around it. But thermal features tend to impact vegetation. Hot, mineral-rich waters can kill trees and change the characteristics of the surrounding soil. If this feature continues to be active, it wouldn't be surprising if the trees around it turned brown and fell over eventually, Poland said. The new thermal feature has already evolved and shifted since its discovery. It remained active throughout the fall, putting out a steam plume that was especially visible during chilly mornings, the blog post said but which slowly decreased with the change of season. The vent is still active, but putting out little to no steam. Hydrothermal features regularly change in temperature, amount of water, color, and other aspects. Poland said seasonal variations in moisture and temperature could be influencing the vent's changes. Hydrothermal features often fluctuate due to water availability. Rain and snowmelt mean lots of groundwater in the spring and summer, 
but fall and winter tend to be drier and colder, altering how the hot water beneath the surface interacts with groundwater above. Only time will tell if the feature will be as visible from the highway this summer as it was last. It will be interesting to see how it evolves over the course of the seasons, Poland said. Geologists plan to check on the feature again this summer, once the area is more accessible and free of snow. Last summer was an eventful summer for hydrothermal activity in Yellowstone. It's so endlessly interesting, Poland said. All this boiling water right beneath the surface changes the landscape in pretty profound ways all the time. Every time you go there, you'll notice different things. In May, a geologist doing work in the Norse Geyser Basin found a small new crater. The crater had likely formed during a small explosion that April. Then, a pool in Biscuit Basin exploded on July 23rd, sending hot water, rocks, and mud hurtling into the air. Biscuit Basin is about two miles northwest of famous geyser Old Faithful. Water and rock fragments, some measuring several feet across and weighing hundreds of pounds, Poland wrote in a column on the USGS site. <laughs>